the Titans video, I have three new Disney Infinity figures I'm going to be opening. And I have the three Elf the Looking Glass figures. So I have all three of them in this box here. But today for this video, I'm going to be focusing on Alice. So I actually just watched the live action 2010 version of Alice in Wonderland the other day. I haven't watched through the looking glass yet. Alice in Wonderland is actually my favorite Disney movie, so I'm really excited to be getting these. And although I would have rather them base it off the original, I still really like these. And at least for Alice, I don't think it's that far off from the original. I think it looks pretty similar because she has a blue dress on in both. And I'm gonna be opening this now. So I have scissors right here. So let's cut this open. I probably didn't need to cut that. I could've just done this actually. Yeah, I, I don't know why I just cut that. So if you didn't know, these are actually kind of rare because these were the last ones that were released for Disney Infinity. So I'm kind of curious if this one will come with a web code card because not too long after it got canceled, they actually shut down the website. So they would be useless after that. So. I would be kind of surprising if they had a web code card. I, I don't expect them to, but it would be cool if they do. So let's take a look at the box first. I was about to go rip it open, but so she'll work in the 3.0 toy box and it shows a little picture right here and it shows how you put her on the base and then it appears in game. Right here, there's actually a little Wi-Fi symbol, and if you don't know what that means, it actually says right here. It says that you need internet to be able to download the update to play as her. So you only need to just make the. So you only need to download it once, and then you should be good, and then you will be able to play with her in game. So let's open her now. I like the art on the box for her on the back. I'm just trying to open this gently here. Slide this out. If you didn't know, I actually got these for my birthday. Okay, so there she is here. Like the figure design. It looks, I don't know if it's just in my head, but for some reason it looks a little smaller than some of the other figures. I feel like it's probably just in my head, but maybe it is actually a little bit smaller. Who knows? I'll have to measure it compared to the other ones after when I go and add this to my collection. So, also in this box, I have these two. I have Mad Hatter and Time, which I'll do in a separate video. But here's Alice, and let's get into the toy box now. So, in this clip right here, as you can see, I put Alice on the base, and then I unlocked the Alice movie costume, I and I unlocked the Alice interior painting as well. And I also got the Alice the Looking Glass Sky Dome, and ground textures too. So, this is just my reaction of her moves and stuff, I was just kind of testing it out, except it's not really much of a reaction, because I recorded this clip late at night, and I was about to go to bed, and I didn't really feel like doing the voice for it, so I just decided to do it later, and I did a voiceover. So, this is just me trying out her stuff, and trying out her moves. So, I actually went into the Cinderella carriage right here, because I said in the last video, if you remember, that I would use Alice if I had her, and now I have her, so it's kind of seeing what she would look like in the um, Cinderella coach because I, out of any character in Disney Infinity she probably looks the most like Cinderella because of the dress, the blue dress. So I'm not going to make you watch the whole clip of me just driving around because that would be pretty boring. So let's just cut to when she's all fully leveled up and we could see what her moves are like. Okay so I have Alice all leveled up now and I have her all the way up to level 20 and I'm going to show off her moves now so let's put down an enemy. I'll put down a Wampa for now to demonstrate her, actually I'll, I'll show her basic moves first. So this is her basic combo attack. It's probably the best enemy I showed on right here. That's what her dodge looks like. I'm trying to only use your 3 hit combo right here. Or you could upgrade it to a 4 hit actually, I think. 
So let's put down a let's just put down a small shielded first giant. So this is her one of her combos. If you delay the third or the second actually, if you delay the second press of the attack button, this is what she'll do. She'll hit, hit, and then she'll send Tweedledee and Tweedledum to attack the enemies. So then I'll show off this here. So this is her special move. I think this is probably like the coolest special move that's like in Disney Infinity. I haven't seen one that's cooler than this. This is probably my favorite special move. So she actually has two kind of. So I have it. I have two charges for my special move right now. So look, one of them is this. If you eat the mushroom, she'll turn big, like in the movie. I really hope I don't die here. And she'll like stomp on her enemies and absolutely obliterate them. Let's just wait for her to shrink. See, so that guy just got destroyed. So then there's this special move, which is like it could be it could be useful if there are enemies and you're kind of overwhelmed. So if you hold the special move button, she'll actually shrink, and then the enemies can't see her. So look at this first giant; he can't even see me right now. But you could actually still attack them, sort of. Like, but it doesn't do that much damage. You could do this basic little kick. It does. It doesn't do that much damage, I don't think. But it'll still work, and you can still kill some smaller enemies with that. So I wanted to also show. I wanted to compare. If you could, as you can see right here, she attacks with the croquet mallet from the movie, and this is based on the live action one. So I wanted to use the power disc too to compare it to the power disc version, which is from the original animated one from 1951, I think it was. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was from 1951. So look, let's put this one on right here, which I actually just did a video on too. I just got that one recently. So as you can see, this one is less like. It, it looks a lot more, um, it looks a lot more plastic looking, like it's not as feathery as the other one, it doesn't look as like hairy. So let's show this again. But the hair, the feathers come off of it when, um, I was about to say the hairs. The, the feathers come off of it when you attack your enemies though, but when you're swinging normally it just looks like, I, I kind of like this one better, it just looks like plastic. So let's show off her ranged attack now which I actually really like this one so she does this she like f um uh, not flicks she hits her she she hits the croquet mallet with the little what is that a hedgehog I think so she kind of hits it at it and it makes this cool sound and I really like this attack so then let's show off her aerial attack Oh, okay, that was too quick. Let's wait for them to spawn in. And then this is her finisher right here. She makes the Cheshire Cat come and stun them. And you could get some extra hits on them. Or maybe even finish them off if you get lucky. And then she also has this ability, which I think makes for some really cool mini games, is where she jumps up in the air it's like a super jump but if you hold down the jump button she'll float through the air kind of like princess peach from super mario 3d world if you've ever played that that's kind of what it's like and i can picture some some like some creative people making mini games with that like is if um uh if there was like i imagine like her jumping from like platforms over lava and like gliding to the next one kind of like that i don't know i'm just demonstrating it from my castle here so I think I showed off all her moves. This is her ground pound. So, and then this is her blocking and her dodge. I showed it in all directions there. So that's what Alice's moveset is. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and bye.